grooming. The idea that the gays are coming for your kids will be a very familiar one to anyone who's studied any queer history. Uh, in fact, we had our own grooming panic in Britain in the 1980s. You want to know what happened? So it's 1986, the AIDS epidemic is going to get worse before it gets better, and the right-wing press starts worrying about the homosexual indoctrination of children. One theme they particularly pick up on is children's books. Especially this one, Jenny Lives with Eric and Martin. People lost their minds over this book. The Sun, ever classy, went with the headline, Vile Book in School, Pupils See Pictures of Gay Lovers. In wording that sounds incredibly familiar, the MP Jill Knight said, There is shocking evidence that children, some as young as five, are being encouraged into homosexuality and lesbianism in our schools and against the wishes of parents. By the way, this wasn't in a single school. The Earl of Holsbury, again in Parliament, says, I did not think that lesbians were the problem. They did not molest little girls, implying that gay men molest little boys. And in the run-up to the 1987 general election, the Conservatives decide to win votes by telling you that Labour is grooming your kids to be gay. They're going to make your kids do Gay Sports Day. And they're going to give your kids books on being gay and having sex. At the Tory party conference that year, the Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher says that children who need to be taught traditional moral values are instead being taught that they have an inalienable right to be gay. The next year, the Tories passed Section 28, the first new anti-gay law since 1885. It forbids local governments from promoting homosexuality, but it was really vague about what that meant. So libraries started pulling books off shelves, teachers stopped talking about gay people, uh, museum exhibitions got their funding pulled because nobody wanted to fall foul of this law. But the worst thing is the huge epidemic of gay bashing that peaks around the late 1980s. The police didn't start collecting data on whether crimes might be motivated by homophobia until I think 1994. So numbers on this sort of stuff is hard to come by, but the Gay Times counts 55 murders of gay men between 1986 and 1989. In 1990, the actor Michael Booth is beaten to death by six men in a toilet outside Elthorne Park. And there was even a serial killer targeting gay men called the Gay Slayer in the press. So we know what this kind of talk leads to. We know there was child sexual abuse going on in the 1980s, but it wasn't random guys going out for the night at heaven.